These bunk beds can be oriented with the steps on the left or right. Um, and you also have an option of putting the, um, the chest unit facing in or out. However, if you did purchase with a caster bed to go underneath, you will want those drawers to be facing out. Once you've determined how, how they'll be oriented, you will need to go ahead and remove uh, the guard um, if the guard's on the wrong side, uh, where, where the occupant will be climbing the stairs to crawl into the top bunk. It's Phillips screws, and you just remove that guard, slide it up, and put it on the, uh, the outside of the bed, and then refasten those screws, just two screws. Next, you want to locate uh, the bed end, and it comes with a couple of dowel pins. And you will insert those into the chest unit on the outside, that's the side opposite uh, of the step bunk. Um, pick that up uh, with the, the stickers that are on it, the warning sticker should be oriented toward the inside. And there's some pre-drilled holes there. And you just set that end down onto those dowel pins. At this point we're going to find our rails box, a long narrow box, and we're going to open it up and locate the nuts and bolts, the hardware, that will attach the rails. Once we've done that, we'll put those rails up against the bed and make sure there's enough space. Once you've got the chest and the step bunk at the right distance to accommodate the rails, you're going to pull out that hardware and you'll have the cross dowel nuts and bolts and we'll start by putting those cross dowel nuts um, into the rails. You'll notice that there's a slot on one side of those and that's the side that um, you'll be able to see you, as you press it in. And you want to take a, a flat screwdriver and just orient that slot um, toward the end of the rail there so it should be parallel with the, with the length of the rail. That's important because that opening of that, of that nut needs to need to be able to accept that bolt when you get ready to attach it. And here we go. She's going to put that bolt in there into the nut and start attaching it. Important to have two people uh, on this on this point. It's very frustrating and difficult without two people. And she's going to finish tightening with the Allen wrench that comes with the set. We'll do the same thing with the double guard rail on top. Same exact process. Now we're going to go ahead and put together the um, caster bed that goes underneath. We have additional rails in that same set of rails boxes and a headboard and footboard. And we'll start setting this up. Some of the sets have extra slats depending on what uh, configuration you purchased. And with those slats, you'll see some caster wheels. You want to pull those up, pull those off. And there's some, some holes underneath the feet of the, the headboard and the footboard of the caster bin. You just slip the caster wheels in and uh, no, no uh, fasteners necessary. Just slip it in and the bed's good to go. Now you should have a slat pack, uh, depending on the configuration you purchased. Go ahead and spread that out and set it in the rails on top of the cleats. And spread it apart and fasten it wherever you see a hole with a Phillips screw. You can use a hand screwdriver or an electric drill. Make sure to fasten all of those. If you purchased your uh, furniture with an attachable desk, which is an option. Go over to the chest, lift that removable rib, pull it out, and that's the attachment point for the desk. Go ahead and unfold it, push it in, firmly press down, and then on the leg side, there's some supports that are hinged. You want to unfold those, and then each of those uh, receives a Phillips screw as well. 
and all, there's also one that attaches uh, on the side of the chest. So three, three screws in total. And one there. Now open your drawers. They're attached with some plastic to protect them from damage during shipping. So the first time you open will, will require a little bit of force, but once they're open, they'll, just, they'll be just fine. That top drawer uh, has instructions in it and uh, different configurations and also lists of what materials you should have with your setup. So take a look at that. And finally, I would go ahead and uh, check all the bolts, make sure that they're nice and snug, and uh, also install that slat pack on top, which you saw us do on the caster bed. And you are good to go. Enjoy your step bump from Canyon Furniture.